time. And look, the fire now has mm -hmm. erupted a, a, a lot uh, more now, and it, I, I don't know how this truck can possibly continue. Well, that person's going to uh, need to come out of that. Truck. Much longer. I mean, th this is a. Uh, this is a really dangerous situation. I don't know if you're actually watching this as you're commenting on it, uh, Sergeant Escamilla, but uh, this clearly is going to be coming to a close here soon. I mean, it has to. I mean, the fire has gotten really bad here. Uh, so you, you really don't know much at all about, about this, and the company hasn't been able to provide you with much, many details, I'm assuming. That is correct. Unfortunately, we know, we know very little about this individual and the circumstances surrounding it other than a stolen vehicle being driven by a male. Uh, we do know that the vehicle was originally stood, uh, stolen out of Irvine, um, and a report was taken by the Irvine Police Department. Um, it, during the course of our investigation, we'll actually be contacting the Irvine Police Department and working with them as well. All right, we have a full-on fire here. Stu, pick it up. Tell us what's going on. Well, we're just watching, and you, you guys watched it live here as well. It's like that fire really started to pick up. Whatever, something changed in there. This is actually, you can see all that black smoke. That's going to be some sort of fed fire, meaning there's oils or something burning. That means something has cut loose underneath that truck, meaning an oil line or a brake line. We're moving Sky Fox around a little bit. Those trees were blocking us in moments ago. But the, the deal is, is that that fire is very well established. If this truck comes to a stop, that fire is not just going to be blowing back like that it's actually going to start getting up underneath that engine that suspect is going to need to get out of that truck almost immediately uh, he's continuing to push this thing also the, everybody's been pointing out the gas tank is on that side as well you kind of hope and we all know that the uh, designers of these vehicles they understand these things and they actually set things up so that that it is safe or as safe as can be. But this truck really starting to really kind of push it the best they can uh, to uh, to keep going, and you just don't know why. Look at that smoke. This is what I'm talking about. As soon as he stops, he's got to get out of that cab. There you go, popping the door open and trying to run from this. Uh, but, uh, you know, th this is one of those things that you, you can run. We'll keep an eye on him. The truck is going to be a total loss. And, you know, he's actually we're right over the fence right there. Uh, you, he's got to know... That he lost his shoes. Now oh, that's a shame. Anyways, grabbing his backpack, he's going to continue to try to run. Officers uh, from the uh, California Highway Patrol keeping an eye. Oh, that must have hurt. Uh, yeah, and losing his pants and his shoes. Uh, at, at any rate, uh, the officers, they might be a little bit slower on the jumping over the walls and stuff, but uh, definitely making their way around to that uh, to the area where he's running to now between the walls there uh, we're going to try to move Sky Fox the best we can to keep an eye on that suspect the truck itself I'm pretty sure almost fully involved in in flame uh, and uh, it, I'm just wondering if any of the California Highway Patrol are going to be trying to put that fire out Vinny can we just go look at the truck since we can't see that suspect here for a minute or two just go a little bit wider uh, and uh, he's not that far away uh, over to the left there you go somewhere right in there where the, where the smoke is just kind of push in to the to the right to the right to the right to the right there we go uh, so uh, anyways that truck itself I, I'm not sure where they, they they parked it but it's somewhere in that area right there uh, you know must be fully involved in fire but uh, again you just gotta you know gotta wonder if maybe some of the California Highway Patrol made an effort to uh, put it out but apparently they're chasing after that suspect right now we're gonna move around and uh, I can see the officers if you go wide and to the left oh my goodness. well the, the cab is fully involved in flames at fully this involved and, and you knew that was gonna happen that fire was really well established and the flames were kept. basically the movement of the vehicle was keeping that fire from getting up under that hood and as soon as he stopped all that fire just basically and, and Gulf, that engine area, again, we know, everybody knows, there's a lot of oil, there's a lot of flammables, there's a lot of plastics involved yeah. right there. Uh, officers on the top of the screen to the right, uh, they are, I'm listening to them right now, they're trying to coordinate, they've basically got a, uh, a perimeter set up, I haven't heard the words in custody, but that's the apartment building where we last saw them uh, running against, the, basically against that wall right there. If you pan up, to, uh, pan up, pan up, pan 